Hmm. But to see those northern lights, you got to be able to have some clear, clear skies. skies. And we're about right. to lose some of that, aren't That's we? That's right. We have the cloud cover tonight. It'll be a lot better tomorrow yeah. night. But in between now and then, we do have the rain. So here's what we're seeing in Detroit. Cloud cover. That's what we have. Clouds. Some rain showers in the area. Temperatures are cool out there as well. Now, when it comes to Zach Track 4D radar, the map has looked like this all day long. Some areas not getting much action. Others getting a light rain and some just getting a few sprinkles. Monroe right now, one of the locations getting some of that rainfall. We are going to be seeing the showers throughout the entire night. So one of the things that we're going to be looking for is for some areas to pick up heavier rain throughout the night, and that's going to last through the morning hours. So there is the potential of some minor flooding right now. The rain coming down in the Mount Clemens area over toward Port Huron, and we're also seeing some of those rain showers right now as you get into the Ann Arbor area and on up into the Saginaw area. So make sure that you are allowing extra time, slowing down and making sure that you are also downloading the forewarned weather app just in case any of those storms become strong to severe winds right now, mostly out of the east and the southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We are seeing temperatures on the cooler side today and tonight right now 65 in Sandusky 72 at City Airport. Those temperatures will tumble a little bit more. Now I talked about the cooler conditions that we had today. We only got up to about 73 degrees at Metro Airport. The normal high 83. The record 104, so we were well off of that. Now the rain showers moving through the area right now. There's heavier storms as you get over toward Wisconsin out ahead of this cold front that is going to move through our area tomorrow evening. So we have those light showers right now, but we will eventually see those storms moving through our area overnight. Some of those with some rumbles of thunder, some gusty winds, perhaps 30 to 50 miles per hour out of some of those stronger storms in the early morning hours. Now, after that rolls through the area, what we're expecting is for some of these storms to perhaps redevelop in the afternoon hours if we can get enough energy going enough warmth. There were some indications that some of those storms would be out of the area before 11 o'clock. There's other information coming in suggesting that we could still have a little bit of that rain hanging around into the early afternoon hour. So it's really just hit or miss depending on just how much energy these storms could have. Otherwise, things coming down tomorrow evening with a couple pop up showers possible as you get way up into the thumb, especially closer to Huron County. Now we are all under the level one risk for severe weather. That's the marginal level here in southeast Michigan. And in all of the lower peninsula, you get into Ohio and Pennsylvania, that risk goes up into the level two category. The main concern being the wind and the hell, and there's a potential for some flooding out there as well. Tonight, the temperature is falling down to around 65 degrees in the thumb. We're closer to about 70 degrees in the city of Detroit and neighboring suburbs that are close to the city of Detroit in the upper 60s tomorrow, getting up to around 84 degrees, but it is going to feel even hotter because of the humidity. Now we're going to see those heat indices back up to near 90 degrees out there. Now here is what we're seeing as we get into our Sunday. The cold front comes through knocking temperatures down into the lower to mid 70s. Monday 76. We get into our Wednesday with another chance of rain 90 degrees. Independence Day 87 and wow. we're looking to be dry, but maybe a couple of sprinkles out there. Good deal. All right, Ron.